They've inspired us to collect, reminisce on the past, and just like myself, even start our own YouTube shows. This is Half Bit's Top 5 Video Game Reviewers. So before we get started, a little side note. This is just my opinion. So in case you feel the need to make a comment saying, hey, why is such and such not on this list? Remember, you're racist, and I like eggnog. Number five. Play Value. Play Value was a show done almost in a hybrid style format of both documentary and interview, which starred people from a variety of sources on the subject of gaming that included game designers, editors, calmness, and gamers alike. The show was a lot like VH1's I Love the 80s or I Love the 90s and did the same thing of combining both excellent, rich history and humor. Everyone on the show was lovable and incredibly interesting to listen to. Only one problem. They haven't released anything for four years. Why? What happened? I love this show. Well, upon digging further, I've only been able to find second-hand information, and from what I've heard, the people at Play Value were unable to find sponsorship and simply couldn't afford to keep the show going. While that's a major bummer, at least we still have the old episodes, as their channel still exists. Number four. Phalus. Here's a reviewer who I consider tremendously underrated. While his main focus is on both movies and bootlegs, he does dabble into games a little bit. His fairly complete reviews of the Silent Hill and Resident Evil series are very insightful and mixed with some pretty amusing observations. You may feel it's cheating putting him on this list, but I've watched these episodes several times whereas other reviewers, I may only watch their episode once. To me, that's a testament to someone who really knows what they're doing, despite the fact that Phelan doesn't do a ton of gaming reviews. I'd check him out and maybe give his other material a look while you're there. Number three. The Spoonie Experiment. Probably too smart for his own good, Spoonie is absolutely fascinating to watch. He literally dissects what he dissects. You think you know what picking apart something means that is until you watch his reviews. I'm convinced this guy was the type that enjoyed getting a new scab just so he had something to pick. Case in point, his series on Ultima or Final Fantasy. He picks things apart to such dramatic detail that quite frankly I don't even understand how he manages to still keep focus on what he's discussing and still keeps the humor intact. It all stems from his unrivaled intelligence and attention to detail. Number 2. JonTron. When it comes to comedy, John Tron is where it's at. No other reviewer has had me repeat one-liners throughout my day like he has. Expert timing and amazing delivery at times. So much so that it actually feels as though he belongs on a TV show as some comedic side character of some sort. His on-screen presence is so overpowering at times that I almost prefer it to his narrative. A lot of care and attention goes into each episode and it really shows in the balance between review and humor. Number one. The Angry Video Game Nerd. Everything has a beginning. One of the main reasons many of us started watching or began reviewing games we grew up with can all be traced to a single man who needs no introduction. The angry video game nerd on numerous outings has tapped into nostalgia, humor, and emotion over the years. While there have been the occasional rough spot the past couple years, AVGN has managed to stay in the light and remind us repeatedly that he's still got it. With well over 130 episodes and counting of just the AVGN series alone, it's incredible to look back at the road he paved for all of us and deserves every bit of the praise he still receives. Thank you for watching, and if you want to see other crap like this on my channel, please feel free to subscribe and or like. How long do I have to have this post? <laughs> I don't know, but it's pretty funny. <laughs>